I think that Samsø is a very concentrated place. You have almost all of Denmark's renewable energy in a very small place. So it's very easy to come here and see the whole of Denmark's uh, renewable energy story in, in a small area. And also you have a very ambitious target. You have 100% in 10 years time. You can see we have built all the things that all the others want to build now. We have gathered together all these different kind of groups in the society and we have offered them a place in this, in this project. So we have the municipality that are part of it, we have the local people that are part of it, we have the local businesses that are part of it, we have the plumbers, we have the, the farmers, we have me, I bought shares in the turbines. So I think if you go out and ask people on Samsu, you will find many proud people. You don't find people hating turbines, you find people that actually like and, and, and feel proud if you ask them, how did you do that? And we say, well, this is how we do it. Do they feel proud that, that journalists come from all over the world to say, how did you, did you do on a small island like this? Samsu has, has in, on electricity, built 11 onshore turbines. They are producing 100% of the electricity on the island. On the heating side, we have four district heating plants and also private people have changed their oil furnishes. So about 75% of the heating is coming from renewable energy. Then we have the transportation, which is a hard nut to crack, you can say, because we have no, no really means of, of alter alternatives to our diesel cars and gasoline cars. But we have actually built 10 offshore turbines that sends out more clean energy to the mainland than we import of fossil fuels for our transportation. So if you measure everything that goes in and out of the island, we actually have more than 100% renewable energy on Samsung.